Hello, my name is Cindy Caravello and I'm from OTS Training. In this video, I'm going to be walking you through the TU timesheet approval process, including how to approve and deny employee timesheets and filter the employee list. Let's begin by logging into the system. From your favorite browser, type mytu.towson.edu in the address bar. Please note, timesheets don't work with Internet Explorer. From the top right corner of the page, click Sign In then enter your net ID and password. You may have to authenticate through Duo. From the MyTU page, click on the Timesheets tile. You will be brought to the Timesheets tab. Click the Approvals tab from the top of the page. You will be taken to the Manager Approvals page and will be presented with two tabs, Pending Approvals and All Employees. By default, you will be on the Pending Approvals tab. Here you will see all employees that you have both approval and alternate approval authority for. Employees will be listed in a report format with information such as employee ID and hours. You can view a specific employee timesheet by clicking directly on their name. Click the Approvals tab to go back. To approve an individual's timesheet, click the Approve button to the right of their details. You can approve all timesheets by clicking the Approve All button in the upper right hand corner. If you need to deny or change time for an employee, you can do so from the Manager Approvals page. Click directly on the name of the person you wish to deny or change time for. You will be launched into their timesheet. Click in the time box you want to make changes to, and then click the Deny button at the bottom of the screen. The time block will turn red with a Denied Status Indicator in the right corner. To add corrected time back to the timesheet, Click the yellow plus sign under the appropriate date. In the Time Entry box, fill in the revised time entry and click Save. You must click the Submit button and confirm timesheet submission before you can then approve the new time you've just entered for the employee. Click on the Approvals tab at the top of the page, then click the Approve button for that employee. You may filter the employee list based on a specified criteria, such as a specific employee, only student employees, or a specified time frame. For example, filtering can be a convenient way to see only those employees you have direct approval authority over. To filter the employee list, click the Show Filters arrow. A search form will appear. Enter the search criteria in the appropriate fields. For example, you may search the list for a specific workgroup ID. Simply click in the workgroup ID field and type the code. If you are both an approver and an alternate approver, you may wish to filter by the Time Reporter Group field. To do this, click on the magnifying glass under the Time Reporter Group field. You will be launched into the Lookup Time Reporter Group screen. Click on the Time Reporter Group of your choice and you will return to the Manage Approval screen with the filtered list. Once you're done, click Sign Out in the upper right hand corner. Thanks for watching. For more information or questions, please visit us at towson.edu forward slash OTS training.